Today, Kevin and I have three beverages to try for you. This is the Summer Edition Red Bull. It is dragon fruit. And I have Black Rifle. These are coffees. Um, I have an espresso with cream and with mocha. So the Black Rifle Coffee Company was $3.19. The Red Bull was $2.49 and they were all bought at Speedway, which is like a 7-Eleven. It's a gas station. And the Black Rifle there, it's 11 fluid ounces. This is only 8.4. So this is a very uh, small can uh, for the price, actually. This is a dragon fruit energy drink, vitalizes body and mind. Caffeine content is 80 milligrams for 8.4 ounces, which is what this is. So 80 milligrams. Not recommended for children, pregnant or nursing women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. Uh, distributed by Red Bull in Santa Monica, California. Made in Austria. Oh, that's um, Red Bull, the summer edition, the taste of dragon fruit. Artificially flavored, the wings of Red Bull. Red Bull is appreciated worldwide by top athletes, busy professionals, college students, and travelers on long journeys. One can is 110 calories. And if you tune in to Kevin's uh, lunchtime review, he went to Sonic not that long ago, and he got the uh, Red Bull Slush. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Red the Dragon Fruit. Whatever the icy thing is, I don't. Know. If it's, the, is it called a slush? I think it's called a slush. A Red Bull Dragon Fruit Slush. So it has this flavor, but it has all that ice, and so you you Too have cold. to drink it really really slow. I do at least. Or it will pierce your brain. I'm oh, not even kidding you. It's like you're getting a needle shoved right in your head. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. actually, literally, after one drink, yeah, you have to be careful drinking those, drink them really, really slow. Ooh, it's tart, it is very tart, but mm. I still like it. It's good, it's it's a little like the rind of an orange or something. It, it's a it's very a melon, uh, no, I'm thinking about more in a citrusy, orange, orange oh, okay. kind of like just that, that, that burst of like. Um, sharpness okay. is like the outside of the orange. Not the flavor, just that okay. that feeling you get when you bite into like an orange peel. I, I understand. That, yeah, it's yeah. that burst of tartness. Mm -hmm. um, it does have, that, yeah. It's not bad. It, it does have a melony kind of flavor. And I don't think the calories are bad. 110 calories. I don't think that's bad for that. Yeah, I mean most energy drinks are. Yeah. Um, although you can get a lot of them. You can get a lot of them that are zero calorie. I do not know if they make this in zero calorie or not. I doubt it. Have no <laughs> idea. Um, but I like it, and it does um, um, have that tartness to it, so you need to enjoy that. But I don't think this is one that you're going to be drinking all day, every day anyway, because of the caffeine. So I think it's like a nice little treat. Give you the jitters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, I swear the, the, red, the version at Sonic was sweeter. It seems sweeter. Um, it did. Uh, I took a drink, a sip of it, and it did come across as sweeter. Yeah, maybe I they don't put know something why. else in there or something. Um, yes, it did seem like there was more sugar content in that. I agree. Uh, so if you get a chance to go to Sonic, uh, just know that they have this in the slush, mm -hmm. and it's fun to drink. It really is. I love the textures of mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Black Rifle Coffee Company, veteran-owned, good source of protein, 100% Colombian coffee. Um, it is 200 milligrams of caffeine, uh, 11 ounces is 170 calories, www.blackriflecoffee.com. This is a veteran owned. Veteran owned. The military veterans at Black Rifle Coffee Company have developed this kick-ass espresso with cream that is a blend of espresso milk, protein, and caffeine to help dominate your day. Serving suggestion, best served chilled or over ice. Refrigerate after opening. Produced in the United States from domestic and imported ingredients. Well, Proudly well. distributed by Black Rifle Coffee Company, Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, City, Utah. Yeah. yeah, okay, here we go. Looks like coffee. A dark coffee. Okay, so this is espresso with cream. Wow. It's dark. <laughs> it's very dark. 
It's not bad. It's not bad. But mm -mm. it is dark. It's a dark coffee. Dark <laughs> coffee. Um, I drink uh, flavored, happy, light coffee. <laughs> yeah, I drink regular um, coffee. That's that's pretty strong. Yeah. I mean, it's not as I don't know. Mine's just almost as strong as that. I think uh, back when you were drinking like the Tim Hortons, it was dark like this. Yeah. It, but I think even as dark as Tim Hortons is, I think that's darker. Oh yeah, it's definitely darker. Yeah. And if this has cream, then I'm terrified <clears throat> of what this is going to taste mocha. like. The mocha. Yeah. Because I'm sure it does have cream to offset uh, some of that uh, coffee, but boy, it's it's very, very strong. I, I think it's good though. I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it. It's just... Uh, it's about the same color. It's about the same color, yeah. Okay, uh, espresso mocha, 170 calories. 200 milligrams of caffeine as well. Same thing. That's like three or four cups of coffee. <laughs> no, probably more like three cups of coffee. Believe it or not, that does not seem as strong as the one with cream. No, that chocolate kind of knocks it down a little bit. Yeah, I, that's amazing to me that that is not as strong because I was expecting this to be like a punch in the yeah. gut. <laughs> the creamer one um, has that little bit of bitterness coming through from the from the coffee flow, the dark coffee. Um, the one with the, the mocha, one, the chocolate kind of offsets some of that bitterness. So it's, it's a little sweeter seeming. Right. I don't think it is, but it seems sweeter. <laughs> right. Well, Kevin and I are, are coffee fans. We drink coffee no, every single day. We, you know, unless we're on vacation, uh, then we get our coffee in. And so I would say to you, if you, if you like Starbucks coffee, Starbucks coffee is very, very bitter. Kevin and I don't like, I don't like Starbucks it. coffee because it's so bitter. And if, some of you have said you don't like it either, so. Right, yeah, we're not alone. But if you like Starbucks coffee, I think you would be the type of people to gravitate toward Fine. this because it is that strong. It is it is bitter, it is strong, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, out of the two, I would definitely, I mean, I could drink either one of them. It just wouldn't be my choice because my coffee's more foo-foo and, and sweet, you know? Uh, but out of the two, I would choose the most. And I would get the creamer one. Really? Okay, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. The chocolate flavor's good, it's just not what I, I don't really enjoy. I don't like flavored coffees, though. So, it, that chocolate flavor to me is just like, eh. Right, and I see, I, I, I think it's really kind of nice. Flavor. So, and I hope Red you enjoyed the video. The Red yeah. Bull, if you drink Red Bulls, definitely try their new flavors out. I think you will oh, think yeah. you'll find it um, a good flavor. There are so many Red Bulls. It is amazing. It is. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.